Hey, what's up everyone? I'm here with another Gore's Gaming Update. This is number 16, episode 16, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got a lot of games, I'll just say that right now. Got a lot of games, uh, not like a huge amount, 15 to be exact. Now, some of these games are going to be back from the beginning of March where I kind of did my retro, uh, you know, uh, Gore's Gaming Update. But, uh, yeah, I didn't add some of these games because they, I didn't get them before then but one game I did play I just didn't get so there's one game I did play by when I did that retro gaming update and I probably even said in that video I was gonna get this game and you already know I probably got this game if you watch one of my boxings for another one of these games I'm just gonna put it in this video just in case people go oh, I don't wanna watch unboxings let's uh let's watch uh, the Gorge gaming update instead anyway if you don't follow me on Twitter also I posted most of these uh games up on Twitter and a picture so if you do not follow me on Twitter just you know just if you want like early uh, an early preview of whatever I got or something or what I'm going to be reviewing just to get news on what I'm doing and stuff what I just saw what I'm going to, going to see so you don't ask me hey you can see this game you can see this movie hey, you can see this game you can see this movie go to watch kick ass even though you put it number one you must anticipate this movie Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah. I got it. actually, funny thing is, this is probably one of the first, besides my Christmas game update, actually, yeah, it, it would be, almost. I think it would be one of the first, that I actually got a PS3 game and didn't return. So this is one game I didn't technically really like, but for what I got it for, I pretty much got it for free, and I'll tell you how. Uh, it's a good game, and it was on the PS3, I was like, ooh, what would we want? But first, I got four Nintendo DS games, and you know what? Actually, I wanna, mm, I wanna actually kind of order these. So I should do this before, but thinking about it right now, I should order these. So while I order these, I will talk to you. Oh, I hope you didn't see that. You didn't see that. You didn't see nothing. Don't look. I don't know how I'll be able to do that with one hand. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna see any movies this weekend, by the way. So don't ask me. <laughs> there you go. I know that's coming. Like, oh, you go see Date Night? Ooh. I, I might. I might see it during the week, but not the weekend. Anyway, alright, I got these all ordered. This pile I'm about to show you, all these games I got at Blockbuster when they had the sale where you buy one, get one free. And I was like, okay, that's cool for $15 or less games. Like, you know, so you, you ain't gonna buy a $50 game and get another $50 game for free. It's not gonna work like that. It's only 15 or lower in use obviously so this whole section I bought one and got another one I'll tell you the prices for each one okay but I'm not gonna tell you which one I bought to get the free of uh, the other free one and whatever one I got free anyway first one for the DS I got was you know actually let me show you the other DS game <laughs> I know I'm like oh, nope uh, let me just show you the other DS game seeing it seeing that I'm gonna do a whole bunch of DS games I'll just tell you it's Pokemon Soul Silver great game I might do a review of it soon just Throw that out there. Anyway, the game, the first Nintendo DS game I got was Rune Factory, a uh, Fantasy Harvest Moon. Yeah, I, I saw it and I remember looking at it before and I was like, ooh, I like kind of like Harvest Moon and on the DS. I got that for seven bucks, six ninety nine, good deal. I also got this for the DS, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, which I just started playing. Explorers of Time, it's called. Uh, which I just started playing, and uh, it's definitely a different experience. It's not that great, but it, it's decent for the six ninety nine price I got. And this one actually surprised me. This is an older game. It's actually a, a really old game, but they updated it for the DS, and it is Final Fantasy three. I got this for five bucks. Five bucks, four ninety nine for this. Pretty good deal, seeing that they still sell it for about fifteen twenty. So yeah, I was surprised by that. And then let's go on to the PS3 game I got. You might have saw my review of this before. Oh, people didn't like that review because I gave it a pretty low score. But I think it deserved it. But I'll give it more of a chance. And plus it was only 10 bucks, So, yeah, I kind of got it for free anyway. So Or 5 bucks if you want to see it that way. Uh, the Godfather 2. I love the movie, but... First one was better. Let me just say that. Dude, being the Don and stuff, it's a little too... I like, you know, I don't remember much from the Godfather game, uh, but I do know I wasn't the Don, so I was just doing missions. It was more GTA-ish. I don't like doing this bullshit. Anyway, where you have to go and control points and shit. 
It's stupid. Anyway, let me talk about the games I got that have no cases. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. They have cases. They just don't have the inserts and the and the cover art. So the first one I got was for seven bucks, Civilization Revolution. And you can say this one I got for free. This one was actually pretty good. Rainbow Six Vegas 2, which I owned before but sold it. Alright, here's another one. I guess you could say I bought this one. This one's a really good one. One of the best comic book games I played. Spider-Man Web of Shadows. And I got this one for free. And it is one of my favorite James Bond games. 007 Quantum of Solace. Right next to GoldenEye, of course. And maybe Nightfire. I really like Nightfire, but I like that one. I like that one more. So it's like GoldenEye, this, Nightfire. And then maybe nah, Age Under Fire was kind of me. Uh, let me talk about the next two games I got from Blockbuster, and then just talk about the other games I got that aren't from Blockbuster. So the next one was Star Trek Legacy. I got it for six ninety nine. I got it because I heard it's kind of rarish. It's not rarish. It's more like it's always high priced whenever I see it. So I do see it a lot, but it's always like nineteen ninety nine or twenty four ninety nine. I got it for seven bucks, pretty much free. Uh, that one's free. And the last one I got from Blockbuster is Enemy Territories Quake Wars. Uh, I played this before. I kind of liked it, so I heard not many people are playing it anymore, but there is there is a single-player game, so I could have got that or Bionic Commando, but I didn't get Bionic Commando because uh, it's Bionic Commando. Anyway, I, I do kind of like it, but I might buy it just to get into it again. Let me check my time real quick. Oh, seven minutes. All right, I'll get through this real quick because I'm only making this a one-parter. Uh, let me talk about the game I got in the mail. You probably saw in my mystery unboxing, and it is the Saboteur. Uh, really good game. Played about three and a half hours of it. I'll do a review of it because it seems like it's a short single-player game. Maybe like seven, eight hours. It looks like. Yeah, it's a short. I already got like thirty-three percent into it. And I'm only three hours in. So, yeah, for missions, by the way. Not probably the whole game. Because you have to do a lot of stuff. Tomb Raider. Underworld. Which I actually got from Blockbuster. But I got it before they did the buy one get one free thing. Played that. It's pretty good. Not as good as uh, other versions of Tomb Raider. But still good. Didn't play much of the other one. Legends. Didn't play that much. Uh, Sacred 2. You probably saw that in my unboxing. Good game. Played it for about two hours. But whatever. And the game I was talking about that I've been play I played in the beginning of March, but yeah, I didn't buy it until after Retro Edition, and that is Battlefield Bad Company 2, which is a fantastic fucking game. And it's even more fantastic, all these games, besides maybe the DS games, and yeah, that's it. And it's more fantastic because I got a new HD TV, which I showed on my Twitter. Many people were like, oh, that's pretty small. I'm like, it's a 24-inch, man. It's just supposed to be for my room. It ain't fucking theater, okay? We don't need a 58-inch, or we don't need a 230,000-inch, okay? We don't need a fucking IMAX screen in our rooms, okay? For people who are like, oh, that's inferior. It's not your dick size, all right? Why don't you shut the fuck up? Anyway, 24 inches is good for me. That doesn't sound right. 24-inch television is good. HD. It's 1080p, not 1080i. So... I don't know, I'm not really big on the technical, you know, blah, so I'm not really sure what's the difference between either one, so I could probably look it up, but I don't want to, and I know people will be like, you're dumb, blah, 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 blah. the difference is peace is a, uh, uh, it's P, and I is I, so, you know, and if you put an I without the little dot, it looks like a one, anyway. And a lowercase l. A p is just a p. The loneliest letter that ever exists. Anyway, I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. P is the loneliest number. I mean, letter. <laughs> yeah, it's the loneliest number. But anyway, I'm just bored now. So I'm just gonna go and watch Spartacus, uh, second from last episode of the season. And yeah. Whoa. Yeah, that's my that's my haul and that's my DS and those are my glasses and that's my soda. It's empty and I'm angry. Anyway, I'm gonna end this off at 9:59. You know, I'll end it right.